After almost four years of having a 1660 Ti and an i5, I decided to upgrade to a 4060 Ti and an i7. In this video, I go over the process of me putting the new parts in, and we also go check how the new graphics card is in Fortnite. Anyways, let's get on with the setup. Now, over the years, I have upgraded it a little bit. Like, I picked up this Viper Ultimate wireless mouse. This thing is really nice. And then just the other day, I picked up this Gussie Aiden mouse pad. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty much the exact same from when I, you know, built this in 2020. Now, this is my NZXT Star PC Plus computer. Bought it back in 2020. All the same parts. Uh, it has a 1660 Ti, an i5. Uh, the only things I changed in it were the motherboard, and then I added a hard drive, but I haven't added anything else. I've always said, gonna upgrade my parts, gonna do this, do, gonna do that. I never do. But I finally said, f*** it and uh, we're upgrading. So I got 4060 Ti and an i7 9700K. So this is gonna be a big upgrade. I still got a 144 Hertz monitor. So, you know, that kind of blows, but I am in the process of getting a 240 Hertz. So that's gonna be really nice for streams, for videos and just overall performance in Fortnite and other games. But uh, anyways, let's get these put in. I gotta wait for my friend to come over so he can help me. Cause uh, last time I tried to take my uh, GPU out, I almost, snapped it but anyways all right let's, let's go put it in bro look how dusty it is bro bro what are you is this a 1660 or a ti 1660 ti oh shit. bad bro that bitch is fucking... i mean compared to this thing bro that thing's gonna be tiny holy oh, back plate is off dang that paste where bro that's Nasty, bro. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Dude, it hasn't been clean in. Fucking... When did I get it? 2020. Oh, bro, there's like some actual like organisms growing in this thing, bro. <laughs> it's so clap. This was the hard part? Yeah. The, the graphic card is super easy. I7's in. It's just scary because it's expensive. Oh. Damn, bro. That shit is beefy as fuck. Cool. Wait, this thing is low key like a lot thinner though. It looks Dude, like. No. Yes, sir. So, what does it plug into? Oh, this right here? With this thing? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Watch this shit, bro. Bro, where is it? Boom. Let's push it to a place. Boom. Plugged in. I7 4060 Ti, bro. Oh my god. All right, so we are now in creative, and as you guys can see, I do have my frames capped at 165, and that's because I have only I only have a 144 hertz monitor, so. Uh, they say you want to cap it one or two above it, so I have it capped at 165. But as you guys can see, it, it it does drop occasionally, but for the most part, it just sits right at 165. You know, me being the uh, L YouTuber that I am, I forgot to get footage before I actually changed my um, my graphics card. You know, I don't know if you guys are gonna notice a huge difference, but I definitely noticed a massive change in my input delay, and it's just it's a lot it's a lot smoother. I've been playing on this uh, graphics card for about almost a week now and it's it is amazing but if we actually go and uncap the fps let's see how much we get so we're getting about 450 on my 1660 i probably wouldn't even get 200 i would probably get like 180 ish but yeah i mean this graphics card is it's it's a big big difference that's gonna wrap it up for this video this was something different but i wanted to share this process with you guys because this was a big change for me and I know there's a lot of people out there that are interested in this type of thing. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you guys made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe. Go follow me over on Twitch. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Peace.